The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the darks. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Darkspawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. Grey Warden sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. on the horizon. Maker, help us all.
Greetings. Greetings. I have lost concentration. How do you do? Greetings. Greetings. Charmed, I'm sure. Greetings. Charmed, I'm sure. Greetings. Ah, my spell! Charmed, I'm sure. I need something new! Greetings. Greetings. How do you do? Oops, where's my head? Not even a scratch! Coming through. Greetings. No, it is gone. I must try another tactic. I need by, please. How do you do? Oops, where's my head? Charmed, I'm sure. Greetings. 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 How do you do? I have lost the spell. How do you do? Right, casting. Focus. Hmm, new weapon. Coming through.
For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyava, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Arlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlay, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. But we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. Hal, you remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. My daughter Delilah asked after you. Perhaps I should bring her next time. Good. She goes on about your prowess as a warrior. I think you have an admirer, young man. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Now, that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Coosland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. They are the heroes of legend, who ended the Blights and saved us all. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the South. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. You did just finish saying that Grey Wardens are heroes, old friend. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? In the meantime, find Fergus, and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt, spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. There you are. 
Your mother told me the town had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Pardon my manners, my lord. It's simply that I've been looking all over the castle for you. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. No matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. I'm not willing to test that. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled. Shall we? Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Get that bloody mutt out of the larder. But mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves, I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way! Oh, look at that mess. How did he even get in here? Oh, encourage the hound, why don't you? No wonder he keeps giving Nan fits. It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, did you hear that? Giant rats? It's like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. Those were rats from the Kokari wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. What? Rats? Not the large grey ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then, take these pork bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. Thank you again for your help. Now, if you'll just hold on a moment. Yes?
Adney, get moving with those casts. And Kath, do you think you can serve that to the turn with dirt from the floor all over it? Miserable old Beth. Oh, bat am I? We've got to work double time on supper, sweep out the hearths, and no complaining. Just keeping order. That's why your father keeps me on. The good maker knows I needn't take care of you anymore. Thank you for coming to your old nanny's rescue. That blasted hound is more trouble than he's worth. He is. <laughs> Don't start with me. You've gotten all you're getting today. But what about you, my lord? Been keeping safe and well behaved, I hope. Good. I'm not exactly privy to your goings-on now that you're grown. Just an old nanny, never invited to your father's fancy meetings. Do you remember that bedtime tale I used to tell you, the dog that bit? Good. Then you can start. A warhound was born to the elder bitch of a tribal chief. They named him Hahaku and gave him everything. He grew up a fine, strong pup, destined to be the partner of the chief's eldest son. The young hound became arrogant, taking food from his kin and warning them, in the way of dogs, that the chief's family would punish them if they tried to attack him. Years passed, and the time for the chief's son to take a warhound came closer. Hahaku's pride swelled, and many of the people of the tribe came to the chief, quietly whispering of this dog's bullying. With each complaint, the chief saw only Hahaku's strength and pride, and sent his people away. But as his son grew, the chief watched more closely. The day might come when his boy's life would depend on this dog. If the humblest of his people would not trust Hahaku, how could he? There are many kinds of weakness. You'd do well to remember that. When the day came, Hahaku sat proudly waiting to be called. But the old chief chose Hahaku's brother as his son's hound. Hahaku was shamed, but felt no remorse. So great was his rage that he darted across the fire pit and bit the chief's hand. The chief and his son struck at Hahaku, cursing him. The hound ran into the village, seeking shelter in the tents and kennels. The other dogs snapped at him, and the tribe's people threw stones at him. Before the chief could reach him, the tribe had torn Hahaku apart. Now, what should you carry from this tale? Very true. Hahaku thought himself above the others and expected his position to protect him. But you're far too old now for an old woman to be reminding you to watch how you behave, hmm? It's a story worth repeating. That's all. Be off with you then. Tell your brother farewell before he rides off to war. And my dear Bryce bought this back from Orlay last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? You've always had a way with her. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right in front of your family, too. You remember my son, Dyron. I believe you two sparred in the last tourney. 
And you beat me handily, as I recall. It's good to see you again, my lord. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do you say something, dear? It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. As it pleases you, my lord. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dairon, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship. You should say goodbye to Fergus while you have the chance. Yes, your father mentioned that. You haven't got it into your head that you want to be recruited. There's enough here at the castle to occupy you. I don't need you off chasing danger like your brother. As do I. Your father and brother are marching off to fight Maker knows what. All the assurances in the world don't comfort me. But it wouldn't help for us to take up arms and follow. Fergus and your father have their duty and we have ours. For a few days. Then I'll travel with Lady Landra to her estate and keep her company for a time. Your father thinks my presence here might undermine your authority. Don't worry, my dear. It won't be long. If he's not out with his men, probably upstairs with Oriana. I love you, my darling boy. You know that, don't you? Go do what you must, then. I will see you soon. Good evening, my lord. Papa, will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. Stay. I'd like to say farewell. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. <sighs> well, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to be ahead, so little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, maker's breath. I swear, it's like living with a pack of small boys. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her, brother, won't you? It's true. They should be sending her, not me. She would scold those darkspawn back into the deep roads. Well, I'm glad you find this so funny. 
<laughs> enough, <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. You'll bleed for this. All right. I want to work. Huh. Ah! Going. Trying. Hang on. You'll bleed for this. All right. Huh. Yes. Was there any doubt? Out quickly, hell us. Huh. All I'll right, cut you down. Going, ah. and I'm off. Going, all right. Yes, over here, darling. I heard fighting outside, and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? They never got through the door, thanks to you. A scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Howl's men. Why would they attack us? You don't think Howl's men were delayed? On purpose? That bastard. I'll cut his lying throat myself. Have you seen your father? He never came to bed. We must find him. We must fight our way to him. Your father needs us both. I am no Orlesian wallflower. Give me a sword and I'll use it. Now let's go. Ha! Let's wipe them out. Huh. Yes. All right. That should go. Going. And I'm off. All right. Go I believe for this. Huh. The Kusans will not fall for the likes of you! Oh dear Lassie. I'm... I'm so sorry. If she hadn't come to me. If she hadn't been here. Matter of fiend slaughters innocence. I was not even taking hostages. He means to kill all of us. Oh, poor fuckers. Let's go. I don't want to see this. Perhaps we can salvage some things here, darling. Some of your father. His belongings are in that trunk.
Can you hear the fighting? Hal's men must be everywhere. The servants' passage leads out from the larder. But we must find your father first. The front gates. That's where your father must be. I have my treasury key. We could go there first and take the Kuslan sword from the vault. If anything is worth fighting to keep out of Hal's hands, it's that sword. But it may be a dangerous path. If Hal's men are inside, they must already control the castle. We must use the servants' entry in the larder to escape. Do you hear me? Then let us be swift. Has fallen. I'm getting out of here. Y yes, my lord. Here, here they come. Oh, so I was hoping for somebody to fight. Going. Oh, look, I blast you! I'll run you through. And I'm off. All right, I'm going. Huh. On the shirt. Come back! Stop! Vengeance! Oh, blast you! Oh, yeah, no, not bad! Not bad at all! Oh, Aldous. You will be avenged, old sage. I swear it. Bad breath alert. Yes. I will drive you to my land myself. Going. Right. I've got a word with you. Not so that might work. And I'm off. You'll no believe How dare this. you come here? It's done. Naturally. We're getting close to the treasury. The Kuzlan family blade lies inside. Use that key I gave you. 
That blade cannot fall into Hal's hands. Over with. Now let's see which one first. Need to have a word with me. Now let's see. Which one first? Kill them all! And I'm off. <laughs> Man the gate! Keep those bastards out as long as you can! Your ladyship, my lord, you're both alive. I was certain Hal's men had gotten through. When I realized what was happening, it was all I could do to shut the gates. But they won't keep Hal's men out long. If you've another way out of the castle, use it quickly. If I do that, you won't make it out before the gates fall. Please, go while you have the chance. When I last saw the turn, he'd been badly wounded. I urged him not to go, but he was determined to find you. He went towards the kitchen. I believe he thought to find you at the servant's exit in the larder. Bless you, Sir Gilmore. Make her watch over you. Make her watch over us all. Now let's see, which one first? Yes. <laughs> All right.
We must get to the larder quickly. You both are. I was... Bryce! ...wondering when you would get here. Maker's blood, what's happening? You're bleeding! Owl's men... ...found me first. Almost... ...did me in right there. He can't... ...get away with this! The king will... Bryce... ...we must get you out of here. I... I won't survive the standing, I think. Ah. My boy. If only Will can make it so. Once Hal's men break through the gate, they will find us. We must go! Someone... ...must reach Fergus. Tell him what has happened. Bryce, no. The servant's passage is right here. We can flee together, find you healing magic. The castle is surrounded. I cannot make it. I'm afraid the turn is correct. Pao's men have not yet discovered this exit, but they surround the castle. Getting past will be difficult. You are Duncan, then? The Grey Warden? Yes, your ladyship. The turn and I tried to reach you sooner. My younger son helped me get here. Make her be praised. I am not surprised. I did not wish to leave your father alone. Whatever is to be done now, it must be quick. They are coming. Duncan, you are under no obligation to me. But I beg you, take my wife and son to safety. I will, your lordship, but I fear I must ask for something in return. Anything! What is happening here pales in comparison to the evil now loose in this world. I came to your castle seeking a recruit. The Darkspawn threat demands that I leave with one. I... I understand. Truthfully, you were always my first choice. I will take the Tierna and your son to Ostagar to tell Fergus and the King what happened. Then, your son joins the Grey Wardens. So long as justice comes to Hal. I agree. Then I offer you a place within the Grey Wardens. Fight with us. We must leave quickly then. Bryce, are you... sure? Our son will not die of Hal's treachery. He will live and make his mark on the world. Darling, go with Duncan. You have a better chance to escape without me. Eleanor. Hush, Bryce. I'll kill every bastard that comes through that door to buy them time. But I won't abandon you. So we all die? No. Your place is now with the Grey Wardens. Mine is with your father, at his side, to death and beyond. I'm so sorry it's come to this, my love. We had a good life, and did all we could. It's up to our children now. Then go, pup. Warn your brother. I know that we love you both. You do us proud. They've broken through the gates. We must go now. Goodbye, darling.
We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, your majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, your majesty. No need, Duncan. You are Bryce's youngest, are you not? I don't think we've ever actually met. Your brother has already arrived with High Ever's men, but we are still awaiting your father. Dead? What do you mean? Duncan, do you know anything about this? Terran Kuzland and his wife are dead, Your Majesty. Arl Howe has shown himself a traitor and overtaken High Ever Castle. Had we not escaped, he would have killed us and told you any story he wished. I can scarcely believe it. Well, how could he think he could get away with such treachery? As soon as we are done here, I will turn my army north and bring Howe to justice. You have my word. No doubt you wish to see your brother. Unfortunately, he and his men are scouting in the wilds. Not until the battle is over, I fear. Until then, we cannot even send word. I apologize, but there's nothing more I can do. All I can suggest is that you vent your grief against the Darkspawn for the time being. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of Darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an Archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the Tales. You know, a king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. Now, I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Wait for reinforcements. We sent a call out west to the Grey Wardens of Orlais, but it will be many days before they can join us. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Your hound can stay with me while I attend to some business. The Grey Warden tent is on the other side of this bridge. You will find us there should you need to.
Hail, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. You approach the tent of Terran Loghain. State your business. How can you not know of Loghain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Tern. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Without Loghain, you can bet the king wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activities. I suppose, as long as we talk quietly, he and the king have been arguing for days. The Tern's known the king since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Tern speaks his mind, and the king yells right back. Personally, I think the king should do what Tern Logang tells him. Without the Tern, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. Hmm. I suppose you have a message for him. Hold on, then. Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. His Majesty could not contain his excitement after your meeting. How could I not hear about you? Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? Marek respected the Grey Wardens. They have an honored place in the hearts of our people. But Marek would have understood that it takes more than legends to win a battle. But that's not an argument I'll repeat here. You look familiar. Have I seen you at the lands meet? The king told me of his promise. I'm certain he has every intention of following it through. I suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? Here for the glory, huh? Fair enough. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. Then simply pray. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. I believe he's with the Grey Wardens in camp, drinking. He holds them in high regard, you know, as his father did. I suppose I do, though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. Terran Loghain sees the king whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles, but the king just waves him off. The king wants to end the blight with a single huge battle the bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? That's how the Terran feels. He'll do what the king wants in the end, though. The king thought it was funny the Terran called him reckless, and they fought about the queen. She's the Terran's daughter. He wasn't happy about something she did or the king did, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't discuss it. As you wish. Look carefully, man. This wretched thing is a dark spawn. They're strong and cunning and smart, but don't listen to those old wives' tales. They can be killed. Stick them with your sword enough, and they go down. Their blood is black as sin and poisonous. Don't even touch it. You get tainted with that blood, and you may as well slit your throat. We've lost many dogs already. Had to muzzle them to keep them from biting. It's a long and painful way to die. This is supposed to be the battle that sends these Darkspawn back underground. You believe that? I don't know what to believe. We've won every battle, but there's more of them each time. Makes you wonder if them Grey Wardens are right. I don't want to think about that. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect time to get drunk, if you ask me. There are lots of Darkspawn, different kinds. We're getting reports of things we've never even heard. <laughs> You found our tent, I see. Is there something you need? <coughs> Alistair can help you with those. I had hoped he would be back by now.
You there, Elf. What's your name? Oh, it, it, it's our time it, before sir. battle is spent Go painting our hands and that the war party's in ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. Yes, sir. R right away, sir. Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready. For... Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. Oh, the dogs are sick and dark fawn blood. Terrible. In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. May you find You may not want to remain here hand. long, Warden. So let it Most of the You You need to convince them. We've got to run. The Dark Spawn are coming. The Grey Wardens will die. The King will die. We'll all die. I apologize, Warden. He's been like this ever since they found him in the wilds. Aside from his wounds, we're not sure. His blood is untainted. He's just... terrified. You... you can feel it, can't you? They taint the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. They'll come out of that forest and spread, like caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. They were everywhere. I saw them. Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? Then I bless you, Grey Warden, in the name of Andraste and the Maker above. May the chant of light carry your name to the ears of our Lord. Sorry, the main army camp is off-limits for you right now. Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. No. They put someone like me in a cage until someone important has time to decide what to do with me. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. I expect nobody thought of it with all the battles and such. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. They say he was recruited before the war up in Dinnerham. Probably figured he'd never have to fight if he served the king, right? I can't just let him go, can I? The army will figure out what to do with him. Probably just waiting for someone important to make a decision. Then they'll hang him, I expect, and I can go and do something else. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm going to say it was you. Just so you know. Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some darkspawn spear this time tomorrow. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Ah, oh, well, too bad. Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. The name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they'd cook this ritual up just for our benefit. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So... I listen in for a bit.
I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see, <laughs> like we have a choice. I've got nowhere else to go after what Duncan saved me from. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. Greetings, young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynn, one of the mages summoned by the King. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Yes, occasionally it's wise to contemplate one's actions. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Maker above, hear the prayers of your sons and daughters. Welcome, young man. Goodbye. That course of action is in. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the Revered Mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What Her Reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens, by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. And that makes you Duncan's new recruit, I suppose. Glad to meet you. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Eager, are we? <laughs> Anyhow... Whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. With the mage. The circle is here at the king's request, and the chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. 
I was once a Templar. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger, and the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently, they didn't get the same speech. Dabbeth and Sir Jory are here in the camp. Have you met them? Right, that cut purse Duncan conscripted. I'm not sure what Duncan sees in him, to be honest. Keep an eye out. Maybe we'll see the other one, or I can track him down later. You do? Huh, that's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Soldiers of Ferelden, sirs and gentle folk. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Duncan. I'll go collect who we're missing. This is Sir Jory, a knight from Redcliffe. How do you do? And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said he was bringing. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. The scrolls contain treaties promising support. Treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. What do you need? You haven't brought more instruction from the turn, I hope. Turn Logan has changed our scouting route a dozen times. If you're not from the turn, what do you want? We're busy. We aren't. We're Ash Warriors. Our training has been passed down since Lathias the Dwarf's son first harnessed the battle rage of the dwarves. It is an old tale. We harness the rage inside us, nurture it, and draw it out so we cannot fall in battle until our last foe is slain. It is a dwarven discipline, but we've adapted it to let us fight alongside our hounds. That is our way. I trust my hound with my life, as he trusts me with his. Then you are most fortunate. A trained Mabari hound is as dangerous as any sword. We do not speak of a city pet or, or those things that sit in an old woman's lap. To scout the wilds and watch the progression of the Darkspawn horde. With luck, we'll find and slaughter many stragglers. The hunt will be good if my hound survives the blood of his prey. If he dies, I shall mourn tonight. Darkspawn blood is poisonous. But not always fatal. Those who survive grow immune to its effects. The wardens say that tainted blood drives even the survivors mad eventually. But not today. Today, we hunt and we kill.
My thanks. There is hunting to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. Half the dogs are sick and dogs being blood. Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. Half the dogs are sick from dark spawn blood. It's terrible. Hail. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. 